Katie here with Greenview Puppies and our cockapoos are three and a half weeks old and we're gonna do a little pup date and show you where they're at. Beautiful little cockapoo puppies are um, three and a half weeks old and will be four weeks on Thursday. So I just wanted to give you a little overview and update on what we're doing this week and how all these babies are doing. So we've introduced a few things to them this week. They're all walking around, starting to play, exploring. So we've added a few um, toys to their pen. We've added a ball they can push around um, of two different sizes. Um, I added a small bed for them to lay on um, in their pen, a few small chew things, um, and a rope toy that they can kind of explore and play with. Um, and then I have this wobble um, stepping stone that they can step on. And it's a little, a very slight uneven surface just for them to kind of... Um, explore that and see what that's all about. Um, and it's uneven surfaces are always important for them to learn to be on, hop off of, you know, balance on. Um, it's all good stuff. So let me show you each of the puppies and um, where they're at. We were away this past weekend, so I apologize that we are a little late to the game. We kind of Miss their three week um, update. But here we go. I will start with our one and only boy, Mr. Briar. Look at this handsome boy. <laughs> Look at his face. He's so sweet. So he's got a beautiful curly coat. He's gonna he's definitely gonna be curly. He's got all these nice white markings his paws, his face, his neck, his chin. Look at that tongue. Look at that tongue. Oh, you're so sweet. They're doing really good with being handled. Don't mind being upside down. So there's that sweet boy. This is Briar, our one and only boy. Then we have our biggest girl. This is Dahlia. Look at that little face. Oh my gosh. So she's going to be more of a wavy coat. You can see the slight S pattern in her, but it's not dramatic like Briar's. Again, the, the little socks on the feet, the nice white chest, the little face. She's definitely darling. So this is one of the four girls. This is Miss Dahlia. And then we have Miss Petunia. She was a mint collar. We didn't have mint, so my daughter chose light blue for her. So this is Miss Petunia. I love the little cocker spaniel faces. They're just so sweet. She doesn't have quite as much white on her. She's a little bit on the smaller side. A little bit of white on the chest. Little chin action there. Oh, but that face. That face. Um, another weavy coat. She's beautiful. And then we have Miss Posey. She's the darkest of the girls. She's got um, a white chest, a little bit on her back paws, a little face. Her, their noses are turning black. And another weavy coat. So they, I feel like these wavy coats are going to look more like their mama. And then we have little Miss Poppy. She was a black collar, but she's so tiny that we don't have it on her right now because she was getting it wrapped around her arm. So we chose to keep it off of her until I can know that it's on her well. Um, but another wavy. She's got quite a little bit more texture, so she might be a little bit curlier. But she's the tiniest. It most, it, like... On, part, on point for growing and um, gaining and 
um, doing all the things. She's just going to be on the smaller side like her dad, I believe. So more of that like 12 pound dog full grown. So they're all beautiful, doing so well. We're enjoying doing new curriculum with them so that they're um, exploring and learning. We're exposing them to more sounds um, to prevent them ha from having um, issues with being startled. And oh my gosh, look at her. Look at it. So we have three of these spoken for. Not sure which ones at this point. Um, families will um, be asked to choose around um, five weeks when they're about five weeks old. Um, so in about a week and a few days, and then we'll know which two are available. We've been getting applications for them, but no other deposits down at this point. So um, once we know who's available, I'm sure they'll go fast. But if they have been um, on your radar and you've been considering, let us know because I think they will not last long. Mia's puppies never do. They're just such beautiful, well-adjusted dogs. Look at this guy. He's like, oh my goodness. Look at the feet. Look at the feet. Oh my gosh. I just love you. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that boy. The kids are playing with them all the time. They're out at the bus stop. They're, they go all over the place with the kids. I mean, not out of the, we don't take them on car rides quite yet, but. The kids just tote them around the house. They do homework. They're sitting with them, watching movies, holding them. They get it's just squeezing my hand and kicking away. Oh my gosh. Stop. You're so cute. All right. It's the next day. I'm in here with the puppies again, and I'm just working on um, some different techniques of holding and touching them so that they so that they all get used to um, all the sensations and handling so that they're good um, for groomings and vet visits and not anxious about things. So we just work on rubbing their paws. As you can see, she doesn't mind being on her back. She's quite comfortable. She trusts me. Yes, we do this. So we just, we play with their tail play with their face, their ears, open their mouth and run our fingers through it. So if you ever need to open their mouths or check them, they're not um, fighting you on that. Look at this sweet, tiny little princess. She's so cute, her little white chest and her two white feet. <laughs> little Miss Poppy, she's so tiny, aren't ya? so tiny so we'll weigh you again in two days at her four week four week yes <laughs> I had to think for a second I was second guessing myself she's so sweet so we just take turns with each of the babies yeah this is Petunia and she doesn't seem to mind too much being on her back and we'll play with their paws. We also like to cut their nails once a week, most of the time if I get to it, um, so that they get used to um, that again. So they're hopefully not problematic when you have to go and cut their nails, but you definitely want to make sure that you're continuing that um, behavior or that stimulation and uh, being having a routine of that so they don't become anxious about it and start to give you a hard time yeah right yeah Mwah. you're such a good girl oh my gosh and then who else do we need who is not eating briar mom is starting to wean a little more she um, doesn't feed him quite as often. Oh my goodness, you handsome boy. You're such a handsome boy. You're just ears. Say you all like this, don't ya? Hmm? Oh, 
Good job. And then we do a little belly scratch. Little belly scratch. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. You're a little love, aren't ya? You're a little love. Mm -hmm. I love you. And then... Do I do this one yet? I don't even know. But we're gonna do it now. Do you have an itchy spot? Do you have a spot that makes your little legs go? Oh yeah. There it is. There it is. The ears, and the nose, the mouth. So got in TVs. This one's got some teeth coming. Little Miss Posy. They'll start their um, mush the end of the week at their four week point, so that mom can nurse uh, nurse less often and they're not hungry. So we'll see a little bit of boost in growth in the next two weeks or so. Oh my goodness. Why are you so cute? All of you, you're just so darling. They just trust me. They're just like, I'm just gonna hang out. I'm just gonna hang out. Oh. We need, where's Dahlia? I think I see her hiding under the rest. Yeah, this big girl. She's my big girl. Oh, did I disrupt you? <laughs> Look at the little mohawk. I disrupted her from her eating. That last one. <laughs> oh my. So sweet. So sweet. You're so sweet. I just love you. She's got more of the cocker spaniel ears, like they're like really wavy. You got these curly little floppy ears. Yes. Mwah. Yes. Yes. Oh, you got some start of teeth too. Oh yeah, you got some good back teeth. Yeah, you do. Okay. Up, 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 up. <gasps> what you doing, babies? Mama, <laughs> a little ragamuffin. Yeah, you'll be real cute when you get your hair cut. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Posey, get your feet under you, darling. What you doing in there? Enjoying the nest all to yourself, huh? Oh, someone peed. That's something we're going to introduce starting the end of this week as well. When we introduce the food, we introduce the potty trays. So that will be going in here too soon. They're at the point where they're walking around enough, I think they could use that and do pretty well with it. Goodness. They're so funny at this age. They don't have a whole lot of steadiness, but they want to wrestle and play. Just wait, me. I'll let you back in in a minute. Hold on.
I have my ultrasound machine set up because I'm getting ready to do a few ultrasounds. One for a dog that we studded and one for an outside breeding. Something we offer as an extra service. Free for anybody that uses our studs, but then um, we do charge a small fee for outside breeding to confirm pregnancy. You went back in with them? Go ahead. Go check them out, make sure they're good. I don't know if you can get an idea of just how tiny these guys are. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet. Poppy's just enjoying having that bed to herself. She's the little one, so she might get pushed out a lot. <laughs> She thinks while they go play, I'm going to go here and lay down. Bobby. Mom's clean him up, cleaning him up. She's such an attentive mom. trying to play with the toys. Again, we have new toys in for texture and production and for them just to explore and learn with. <laughs> Alright, well that's a wrap for this update. We'll be back to give you guys their four-week update in just a bit.